Okay guys, what you're looking at is a very unusual plant. It's called Karokia cataniaster. It is from New Zealand. And a lot of people may think it looks dead. It's kind of a grayish, always has a bit of a grayish appearance. I believe in the spring it will get small. I, I'm pretty sure it's the spring, not the winter. It, it will get small yellow flowers, very dainty. And I'm gonna actually show you this. These are the leaves, little teeny tiny things. And this, it's very like squiggly contorted. It's quite an interesting plant. And the whole reason it has those tiny leaves is that this plant is originally from New Zealand. And on New Zealand before the settlers came, or well, not the settlers, but the first people to arrive to the island, so it would be the Polynesians, Pacific Islanders, uh, which we now know as the, the Maori. Um, they hunted the large birds on the island because there are no native mammals to New Zealand other than bats. Um, so birds occupied the niche that a lot of mammals did. So they have very, a lot of large flightless birds and um, they were known as the Moa, M-O-A and they would browse on vegetation. But because these are little teeny tiny leaves, the moa would leave them alone. Unfortunately, the moa are all extinct. Uh, there are some relatives still alive today, like the rhea or the emu or even the ostrich. Um, but yeah, this is an adaptation to an animal that no longer lives. Um, I've had this in a couple spots. I've moved it. It seemed totally fine with being moved. I think it's a zone 8, zone 7 possibly, but keep out of sub-arctic winds like uh, we get strong winds in the winter, so you kind of want to keep it out of that, but at least that's what I've been told, but I've had no issues. This was a very small plant and it's about three feet tall. It doesn't really show up well on the video because it's so kind of transparent. But I just wanted to show it. So a lot of people actually like this when they see it. They think it's very unusual. So this is uh, Karokia cataniaster.